Hi, welcome to the 420 Review. I'm your host, 420 Keys, and I always share products that are on the OCS or at your local dispensary. Um, today, I'm going to switch it up. Um, I'm going to be talking about two or three uh, premium vaporizers that's on the market, the G-Pen and the PAX Era. Um, first, I'll start off with the G-Pen. Um, this is a nice little sleek little instrument here. You can buy the G-Pen. This is the G-Pen Geo, the Geo G-Pen. Uh, you can buy this on um, www.gpen.com. Um, they range between nine to fifteen dollars. You can buy this little bad boy right here. It's really great vaporizer. I love it. Um, yeah, so I'll get into it and show you show you it. So right now we have the G Pen. This is what it would look like. You can buy the pods. These little pods that come out. So you can buy these pods at the OCS.ca, or you can go to your local dispensary and pick them up. Um, you know, they price, the price range is, they're, they're not too bad in price range. I mean, you know, half gram to full gram between 30 to $60. Don't quote me on that. They may be a little bit, uh, more or less depending on what dispensary you go to. Um, yeah, so it's a very simple vaporizer. It's, you know, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It's not, it's not a cheap vaporizer. I mean, I mean, considering $9 to $15, I mean, it's very, very good quality vape. Um, pretty heavy, um. Looks like it's made out of like either hard plastic or aluminum or something. And you just get your pod packs and you just put it in and you inhale. So when you inhale, you'll know you're inhaling because the G on the pen will light up. And when you're charging it, it would also flash letting you know that the charge is complete. I would When you first get this, I say charge it for about an hour to two hours. Long charging time, but uh, it's worth it. Um... You know, it's a nice little rush when you first get it. It's great for if you're going to a party or somewhere you don't want people to know that you're smoking. You just want to be in the corner and just take a couple hits in the corner. You know, you can do that. Very, very sleek. Um, not really noticeable. It also has like a little keychain thing you can put on your keychain and uh, just carry it around your necks. But uh, yeah, you just hit it like that. That's it. The only down part about this G-Pen is that you get a nice hit, but it has to be fully, I notice it has to be fully charged in order to get that pull that you want. You know what I mean? Um, that's the only thing. And a lot of, a lot of people tell me, you know, oh, it's a great pen, but it, when I put it down for too long and I want to hit it, you know, it's hard to hit. Um, that's because sometimes the, you know, the pods, they do crystallize. Um, this happens with everything, not just the G pen, you know, they crystallize, you know, just get a little blow dryer heat it up or you can just keep sucking it till it heats up itself and then it will eventually you can get your uh, concentrate so the only down thing about this pod about this g-pen is that you know it has to be fully charged um if you leave it straight up like this it shouldn't have any problems um you can also buy a little charging dock for the pen it's a great little charging dock usb put it in there and then you can plug in another usb at the back this keeps this uh pod up here ready to go so when you're ready to hit it you can hit it rather than it laying down you know you pick it up you're not hitting you may have to heat it up for a bit and so on right but great little uh instrument here to like charge it like i said again when this lights up and it's flashing it's fully charged it's a really really nice pen um again not that expensive if you're looking for like a little sleek little pen it's about nine to fifteen dollars great little guy here uh, the other vape I'm going to share with you is the PAX Era. Now, I love this PAX Era. I mean, it's not as heavy as the other guy. It's very light. Um, again, it's just the battery. Um, uh, the battery you can get for about... Uh, let's just take a look here. So for the battery, uh, you can get these guys. I believe the price dropped. It used to be about 50 bucks, But now you can get them for about $25, $250 depending where you go. Again, you can get the pods on the website at the OCS.ca, or you can go to your local dispensary and pick these up. Um, I mean, these two pens here, you can get them anywhere. You can get them at uh, any smoke head shop, vape shop, they should have these too. But about the PAX um, era, it's a nice little gadget. What I like about this is you can down, it comes with a nice charging, Put right here again, USB, nice sleep box, instructions. You can also download the app at the Play Store or at the Apple Store, and you can control the temperature settings on your pen. That's right, 
So, you know, you just shake it. It, you know, it becomes uh, paired with your phone. And you can control the temperatures um, in order to get the high that you wish or that you please. So, if, you know, if you're looking for terpenes and you want to taste the, the terpene weed, you'd put on a lower setting. If you want to get more of a head rush or more of that high where it's, like, really potent, then you can turn it up, right? But this is a nice little pen. It's great. Um, no issues. Again, sometimes it may... You know, crystallize up here, just get a blow dryer, dry it, or preheat it, heat it, and go. Um, it's very sleek USB charger. Um, a lot of people I know, they love this thing. It's great. Um, again, it's sleek, so if you want to go somewhere, a concert or somewhere, and you don't want people to know you're smoking, you can just hit it, smoke. It's just it's very nice, very nice vaporizer, man. I mean, this is one of my favorites. I mean, I take this everywhere I go. Again, you can get a little pen, put it on. Put it around your neck. It's up to you. Um, you can get them in other colors. Um, yeah, it's really great. I mean, between the two, these are both great. If you were just looking to just put it in, smoke and go, I recommend the G-Pen. If you're looking to, you know, you really want to have a hit or an experience or you're more, uh, I don't know, you're just... You're a veteran that's smoking and you want to do more. You can get this guy here and download the app and adjust the settings. Um, Between the two, this one's a little lighter, a little bit more sleek. But, you know, they're roughly the same size, same shape. Um, for this guy here, uh, no issues. I don't have any issues with charging. Again, I would say charge it for an hour to two hours before use. Um, when it's done charging, this will light up, letting you know... It's fully charged, and it also shows the battery life where it has four little lights here. You know, one goes away, you know your battery is draining. Um, for rating-wise, for these guys, I know it's not much of a rating. Um, for packaging, for the Bull Rider, I'll start with the uh, Bull Rider. So the packaging for this, love the packaging. I mean, the packaging could have did a little more. It's just a black box, pretty simple. You know, inside is just a, a little charger with the pen. With the, the, the uh, just comes with the charger and the battery pack here. Uh, so I'd give that about, you know, maybe I'll give it about a four for packaging and stuff. Uh, smell, you can't really smell anything when you hit these, so it's very discreet. You're not smelling any marijuana. Taste is, it's amazing. I love the taste of whatever is in here. It does give off the taste, but yeah, it's, um, can't smell anything. That's the great part about it. Um, looks, I love the look of this thing. It's nice, it's, it's made to like, you know, for your hand, you know, you can hold it right here, make it comfortable, you know, just hit it, amazing. Um, effects, um, I give it a four, it's it's a, it's a good effect. I mean, again, I give it a four because I, wouldn't, I didn't give it a five because you have to have this fully charged in order to get the right pole that you want. It has to be fully charged. I notice a lot of people tell me when it's not charged, it doesn't really work. You don't really get anything. That's the only downside. It has to be fully charged in order to get that perfect hit. Um, where would I use this? Um, like again, you can get, you know, there's places, you know, you can't smoke marijuana and certain places like that. This is a great pen to use. Um, again, you can buy it at gpen.com or you can get it at any head shop and if your dispensary has it you know you're lucky enough to get it there uh get that there uh going on to the ratings for the packs now like, like i said i love the packs the great it's sleek um it's light a little bit lighter than the g-pen um yeah i mean it's 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 uh packaging i love the packaging it has all the information on your web where to download the uh, apps how to use it control setting all that stuff Nice little box, comes with a nice little box, comes with a charger. The box, I'm going to give this about, you know, just getting something like this. I'm going to give it a solid five. Um, for smell, again, you can't smell anything when you're hitting this because it's sleek. But I do give it a five because you can't smell anything. But you can taste a lot of uh, terpenes and stuff in this pen, but you cannot smell it when you're blowing the smoke out. Which is very good if you just want to be discreet and not let anybody know that you're smoking any weed. Um, looks, I'm going to give this, uh, about a four for looks. Um, reason why I say a four for looks, because it's just a stick. You know, it's nothing, no curve to it, nothing to like, you know, I mean, still comfortable to hold, but, uh, give it about a four for looks. I like the little lights in the front. Uh, that's nice, you know, regular packs lights, they always 
let you know what your temperature or your battery life due to the little lights on here. And again, USB just goes in the bottom. Give it looks for about about a four. Taste, taste all. I'm gonna give the taste a five because you can really taste the terpenes in this uh, vaporizer. Yes, you can with the G pen, but I think the PAX does a little bit better job when it comes to taste and setting. So you can set it to how you want to taste and how you want to get hot. Um, for effects, I'm gonna give it a solid four. Great effects, I smoke it, I get high. It does the job. So I gotta say, you buy a PAX, it does the job. Brilliant, brilliant little device here. Um, again, you can buy this on the uh, your local dispensary, the, the pods. Hopefully your local dispensary has the battery pack, but you can buy this at, um, I believe it's uh, at PAX. You know, CA, you can buy these uh, little packs batteries and stuff like that even the pods i think you can buy on there as well but the pods you can find them on the o ocs or you can go to your local dispensary they should have the uh cartridges for the packs era um again yeah, it's really great another vaporizer i want to show you before i go is also the Pax era life so it's another one another Pax product uh, i'm going to show it to you as well so this Pax era life is exactly like the Pax era uh Kind of like the PAX era that I was showing you just a minute ago. So again, it's just like this guy here. It's just a little bit smaller. Doesn't use the app. It's a little bit more like the G-Pen. Where you just put your little cartridge on the top and you just pull it. Just charge it. Put it in there. Pull it. Done. So you don't need the app. You can't control any features on it. But it's a nice little slick thing again. Uh, very sleek. It's very light. It's just a little bit tinier than the PAX era. But it's the Pax Era Light, and you just hit it like that again, and you get your weed. So, so if you want something a little bit more simpler, and you want to get your taste, I would suggest you get the Pax Era Life. But again, Pax Era, this is a nice little instrument. I recommend this. But, you know, thanks for tuning in. Um, again, until next week, thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe at my channel. Um... Let's support each other. I need the support. So thank you so much. And I'm again, 420 Keys. And until next time, thank you for joining the 420 Review.